Right, so I've taken off the, um, so this is for tipping the valves, I'm just bring it over. You can uh, tip the valves and then put an angle on it. Um, let me grab a valve. Right, so valve goes in like so, and then you can tip the valve, so you basically grind away the very tip. And you can then put a chamfer on it as well. But the mic doesn't work, so look. This goes on like this. Oh, wrong way around. So that goes on there like that. It's got that spring in there to give you tension on the micrometer. But the micrometer isn't traveling. So the thread's there. I don't know. I assume the thread's on this brass thing then. But that doesn't travel. Which is interesting. How the hell am I going to get that off there? But that is what I need to do and figure out. Um, I wasn't sure if the thread was actually... No, I thought maybe that maybe that moved on the shaft. But that doesn't seem... That's pressed in. So yeah, the thread must be on that brass. And it's just not turning. So I've got to figure that out. And yeah, so it looks actually, because he said, I think, that this wasn't working and it was jammed, it was seized closed. But I think actually what had happened is he'd just wound it or like wound it the wrong way super hard and then not touched it for a while maybe. But she dirty. So yeah, reassemble. And uh, whew, that bit's done because I was a little bit worried about that. I made this little, not tool up, but a bolt to hold that down because it's spring loaded. And those tiny little M3 by, what is that? Maybe five mil. Um, so yeah, M3 screws. Cleaning time. Oh, got it all cleaned up, put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Cleaned that thread up. This came out quite nice. There's still a tiny little dot in there, but that won't come out and I'm not using a knife to get it out. I tried to clean this up a little bit. Most of the cleaning was actually done by the ultrasonic cleaner, but I hit it with a bit of old 1500 that is very old. But yeah, I mean, she come out nice. And she threads on real tasty now. So, rebuild. I think I'm gonna put, cause I'm not sure anything's supposed to be on that thread. Um, I think I'm going to put like a bit of anti-seize grease on it or something. I mean, now I know it comes apart. I can always retake it apart another day or something. Um, but I think a little bit of oh, anti-seize grease is quite stiff in it. Maybe I'll just put some like GT85 or something in there. Mm, or uh, what about a little bit of really light lube? Your uh, air tool lubricant really light isn't it yeah and then i'll re-grease this this was that backing plate that goes on there obviously that's getting pushed against so there's a fair bit of grease in there all right well yeah cool so machine shop room is almost done it's like 4.2 by 3.4 or something like that um so it's not going to be any more than this just painted gray inside Obviously I'll put like four lights up in there, need to finish that bit. Leaving this open, so this this will be completely removable, i.e. just, you know, unscrew it. The rest of it's properly screwed. This is sort of, yeah, you know, I'll put like these little weird straps around the top, um, just so there's very minimal screws. So I can just whoop, whip it off. But I think this space is gonna be big enough to get all the tools in currently. When the mill arrives though, it should go in, but this, we'll see. So yeah, electrics, I'm not going to bother painting the floor because I'm going to put um, tiles down, the uh, foamy tiles, these style ones. Obviously the full size, but that's because of the, um, everything that's tungsten carbide, if it touches the floor, it's going to shatter or crack or whatever. Just cleared some space out in the shop. So run down, move that over. You know, like that film where he's like, meep, 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 meep. yeah, like, 15 turns to get that over there. Moved it like two foot. So now I'm just going through cleaning the 
base box for the 32 valve machine so obviously that flips up we know how dirty that was from previously covered in oil inside that's all cleaned out now um all the other bits are here they're all cleaned um i can't remember what this cleaning stuff is it used to go in a parts washer i think it's kerosene or something been using that along with wd-40 and together they seem you know you rub it hard enough it eventually comes off these are the adjustable wheels on uh feet on the bottom so uh obviously they've worn down so there's literally nothing left of any of them but i did buy some feet for the saw which i didn't end up using and they look like the same thread so hopefully i've got four new feet there um fully adjustable rubber feet so no expenditure well previous expenditure now used um still cleaning this i'm just soaking it um yeah so just this under bit look at the state of it though the whole thing has been i mean that's underneath how do you get the underneath that dirty it must have been just sitting in a bath of oil just running everywhere at some point um because he used the wrong oil and it basically melted everything um still trying to get parts for this um talking to um, is it pom or pommy or something like that in the netherlands and surdy uk but Apparently, Surdy France are closed for like three weeks or four weeks, maybe it might be. Um, so they're not getting back to us with some of the parts that we need. Um, and I've still got to go over through what they sent because as with all these companies, you send them a list of what you want. They send you half that list back and then they go, oh yeah, we'll get to the other one quarter that you, they missed off. And then they just ignore one quarter of your entire order. Um, so yeah. Uh, parts washer is now fully working, so that's good. Um, more of the cleaning piece. Sorted out this gasket. So this is a new version of the gasket that was here. Um, so I, I actually, so this was, I think he said it was 70 quid plus the VAT in 2017, this little pad. So what I did was instead, I bought a one meter by 750 roll, um, and cut my own. So I'll probably make three or four, uh, no, four, I think I can get four or more out of it. Um, I would assume this stuff lasts for ages though, because this is obviously 20 years old, but that was leaking and it's not a very good design. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but it's not a very good design, the whole thing. Uh, no, I can't show you like this. Um, yeah, no, it's all upside down, it's all there. I put some of the bits in the parts washer, but that was a mistake, really. All it did was dull the shit out of the red. And I've only put dishwasher tabs in there because I need to drain the water out and I don't want to drain the actual chemical outside. So, um, yeah, all the screws arrived. So I've got all new screws because they're these silly little tiny machine screws that have got cap heads in them, uh, like Allen key style tiny 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 stuff i did get some new pipe as well don't know where that is oh it's under there so hopefully i can just heat that up and slot that on that's for all the coolant pipes on the 32 so yeah clean 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 just got to wire up the workshop uh well wire up the machine room now and um try and get all this stuff down here so this weekend i'm gonna try and walk I mean, that lathe can go long ways, so that's not a problem, but the Surdy's quite square. It's like 1,200 by, which is what, 60 inches or something? Um, by 1,200 by 1,600, I can't remember now. But basically, it's going to be super tight getting it down there, and obviously the PS is on blocks, so moving that's going to be a pain. I'll move this table move the welding table get this out of the way safe frame and hopefully because it's 1200 wide um in one direction it's 1200 wide low but then as you get higher it gets up to 1900 so i'm hoping that it's gonna shoop all the way through probably unlikely but you know worst case we have to move all of this outside so we'll have to move all the machinery down the line here and then shoop, get it all out Great. Right, lighting done, standard workshop. Boof. Look at that bad boy. 
So I actually went for three. That one's slightly off centre because it's going to be above the lathe. But yeah. I think they're like 60 watts each. And basically, they ain't no shadow. She brat. She real tasty brat. Absolutely no problem. And then I might fit another one up there. If I need to, I don't think I do because the mill's going to come out way far, but sprinkly. All the machines are in. The Surdy's basically cleaned up. I'm just waiting for Surdy themselves to get back to me about all the parts. Made a new one of these. Everything looks good, all new pipe work. Uh, left this one off because this is just an auxiliary for randomly washing stuff. Um, might put it on later, but so now it's a case of sorry, yeah. So this is clean. This is mainly done. Um, obviously, nothing is on yet um, because it's not quite finished. I haven't rebuilt all the top yet. Still got all the diamond grinders and things to go on it. The Surdy is coming apart now. I'm just going to clean her up, basically. So everything's apart. It is dirty. I mean, that's like a cigarette packet thing. Really dirty. Needs some new centering bushes. These are apparently melt these ones. I don't know really what happens to them, but yeah, they need a good clean. The new ones don't do this apparently anymore. That's supposed to be a cone. Um, actually full single taper. So it's obviously not centering that. So my phone just went into some sort of limpy mode, but this all needs cleaning. So I'm gonna get on with this now. Um, trying to get feet, I can get them, but trying to get these uh jacking screws. Trying to find out what thread it is. I bought a one and one eighth inch UNF by 12 TPI, that was wrong. Um, I don't mean I measured it, but whatever, that was wrong. Um, because I'm measuring the inside of the thread and I wasn't sure how thick it was, I didn't know it was a UNF thread to be fair, so I was guessing at that. Um, turns out it's going to be, this one's easy to get to, um, turns out it's going to be one inch by 12 TPI, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully get them done, then I'm going to make some feet up for it, so once I've got them, I'm going to spin up the lathe and make some steel feet for it, so that we can actually set this thing up, hopefully well, I think it's only got six levelling, I think it's got two down there, and then pull up this end. I think that is it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any others. No, doesn't look like it anyway. But yeah, so the lathe looks pretty sweet. I'm just cutting these rags up. But let me zoom out. It's got all three cut in. I could even cut my own thread on here. Uh, could I? Uh, threads per inch, 12. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I could. Not that I know how to do that, but yeah, I could. I mean, I could figure it out, but. I don't even know it works. I know there's a serious amount of backlash in, in this and none of this has been adjusted or used for years. Like there's definitely no oil in these, in these little ones that say oil. I can guarantee there's not been any oil in any of that stuff for many years. Um, and the gap is somewhere. I can't remember where the gap is. Um, and I know I've got a four chuck lathe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was measuring the threads with something actually decent. I know it's 12 TPI, um, but yeah. So yeah, so I'm going to try and clean this up as best as I can now because I really want to get these things up and running or at least have them clean and ready to work. Um, it does need a new damper as well. So when you, it wants to, it wants to fall. If it doesn't get, if it doesn't get st stuck, it's a bit bindy. Um, I mean, it's fairly smooth, but you can see the state of it. There's certainly some score marks where shit has gone in there, but it just, it wants to fall on its own. So I'm not sure if that's, I mean, it's not supposed to be like that, but, but yeah, we'll, uh, hopefully, I think he was tightening this up to try and stop it falling, which is obviously not correct, but... Yeah, all good fun. So yeah, clean it up and then we'll see what happens.
six hours worth of cleaning and she is looking nice. Um, just replacing some of these lines that are basically old, brittle and crushed. <clears throat> but she looks much nicer. Much, much nicer. There's some bits that won't clean up, but all the lines and everything, all the top surface, this looks now, looks really good now. So this still looks a bit minging, but it just won't clean up. All the tooling, <clears throat> got all the airline bits on there. They were on this little table, but I'll just push them up there, I think, because this is gonna have that much space down the side, because I've got to be able to open this door. <clears throat> so, got a touch closer, but I know I've got someone coming down to program this because the speed doesn't go right down to zero. Um, probably gonna replace this line as well. It's a bit janky. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I know the vacuum line doesn't work, so I think this little bleed either needs to come apart or we have a look at it. I'll see what's going on there. Um, but yeah, she come up real tasty. So it's nice. Like I say, I'm gonna replace some of these lines because <clears throat> they all run obviously crazy up there, but running through there as well. So that's where that one ends up. And I've just got this little six mil to do, which is on order. There's the filter there. So basically that's where the air blows out to cause a vacuum to hold this down. I haven't actually cleaned underneath this yet um, because nothing's moving because I haven't got all the bits hooked up. So I've got new, <clears throat> new regulator and this is for the 32. So this will be um, a lubricator and filter regulator. And this one is just a double filter. I'm not really sure, um, <clears throat> but we got to get them. There's the original and I don't know where the other original is, but yeah, <clears throat> unfortunately the 32, <clears throat> the original bolted on here but that's all gonna have to come off now because um, I can't get one with the exact bolt holes. Um, Sir, do you want like uh, 270 quid plus the VAT? That lot down there cost me 200 quid the lot and it's decent stuff. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, well, I don't know what to do about this yet. Obviously covers and stuff have got to go on, but yep, yeah, that's where we're at, but she come up real nice. Oh, let's zoom there, real nice. Everything come up real nice. Let me just, just lovely. Actually come up real good. Pleased.